Hello, all my fellow nerds out there. This is Oracle Nerd Richie, and welcome back to Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright Truth and Consequences. So, uh, so uh, let's just. I'm not gonna do any recap, so let's just go ahead and continue with the next testimony. Becca Tuber. I admit, I didn't like Becca Tuber, Tuber girls at, at all. But is that because of what she overworked us? Becca wouldn't, wouldn't try to kill me. I didn't do anything to her. I only ever talked to her about the Sakura supply. I'm not a killer. I save lives. I'd never take one intentionally. So, Miss Tuart had no reason to kill you because you barely spoke to her? Yes. Why? She want me dead. If you intend to prove Mrs. Nightingale is guilty of this crime, you need solid proof. Solid proof? Can I do that? That's right, you're gonna perform your cross-examination. Let's do it. Hold it! She overworked you? You and Carrie both? Yes, it was horrible, so I won't deny that I, that I wasn't very fond of her. So she worked all the time as well. Come to think of it, yes, she actually lived in that house now. Truth be told, I was surprised that she wanted to come to get, to the get together at all. That sounds incredibly unhealthy. We all tried to kill her. She never listened to us. Could there have been a reason she had to be in the hospital all the time? Is there a crime to devote most of your time to your job? No, but it all does seem a little suspicious that she didn't have as much of a life outside of work. Lots of people, lots of people don't do much outside of work. But why? Why are they working? self-defense. I'm sure the jury understands. They would understand? We have provisions in the law for justified self-defense. I can't, Mr. Wright. I just can't bring myself to say the words. 
If you're so certain what happened, enlighten us. You're almost there, Nick. But this, but this is probably upsetting for her. So try and get this over with as fast as you can. Becca to was murdered to kill Betty Langdale was actually came, came about actually came about three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. But that's that's what this happened. Wait, do we have to present evidence for for Volcarra's side? Oh gosh. That's when the robbery happened. Take that! Take that! You're saying the thief was Becca Tua? Oh, that's why there was no evidence. It was an inside job. But why? Why did she steal Advance? Miss Nightingale alluded it to, to it during her testimony. She practically lived at her job. She could have been selling it for selling it or taking it herself. Either way, she was stealing it. I don't know if Mrs. Nightingale caught her in the act or figured it out herself. But this note implies that she confronted Becca about it. Becca made her a deal, perhaps a cut of, of the profits or some, or some other kind of final financial incentive. But Mrs. Nightingale didn't want to go along with it. In fact, she updated the security system. Becca knew she, she wouldn't be able to steal any more advance. She couldn't let the system go up. And the only way to stop her was to kill Mrs. Nightingale. She wanted to go to the police. Becca couldn't let her. Is that right, Mrs. Nightingale? Yes. Yes, you're right. I couldn't live with myself if I let her steal medication from people who needed it. But I never wanted her dead. Your Honor, this was never even a murder. This was an attempted murder. A failed attempt because Mrs. Nightingale did what most of us would have done. I, I'm sorry, Mr. Lake, this is so confusing. I tell you, I'll tell you what. I'll go over this case one more time. Mrs. Nightingale, if you let me know, you let me know if I have it correct, all right? Closing argument. Here's exactly what happened. Two weeks ago, Becca Tour stole advance, advance from the medication supply at, at the hospital. That art style kind of reminds me of Rebecca Turnham. I don't know why. Or was it Rebecca something? I don't remember. Uh, because it was an inside job, no evidence was left to the scene. But Becca's killer was keeping track of the medication supply, so they no noticed things that the police didn't. They tried to confront her, but Becca offered to pay them off. The culprit couldn't hide it any longer, even with the financial incentive. So they told Becca the deal was off, and that they wanted to go to the police. Their son was already implementing the program to tell you security, because Becca couldn't let that happen. So Terry invited her and her to get together, she found, found out that the culprit would be attending, Jean Doe? She came up with a plan. First, she stole some, some, some of the soap oil. I imagine she could have come up with, with a fake patient to describe it to, so no one would suspect. Carrie mentioned in, in her email that, that the circuit breaker over overloaded easily. So Becca got, got out an old hot water dispenser that was likely that likely caught searches and covered at her home. She also packed the knife and placed it in plastic bags. And when everyone arrived at the get together, Harry got, got out her frozen vegetable basket. They took a picture together, then had dinner. At the dinner, Becca suggested they make tea. While Harry was busy boiling the water on the stove, Becca got out the hot water detector. Then she plugged it in. The resulting power surge caused the blackout, quickly sprang into action. She dosed Terry with Sucrell, then felt her way over to Kenny and Mara, who, who she also knocked out. I'm assuming she didn't dose the culprit because, because it would have been found, found in an autopsy report. That would, that would have led right back to her or Terry, since neither Kenny nor Mara had access to it. 
but then she went over to where Cobra was sitting and took the plastic bags off the knife. This, this is kind of giving me Diamond Rampa vibes, to be honest. But the culprit's eyes were just into the dark, so they probably saw them moving. Becca tried to stab them, but they, but they dodged it. They quickly got up and tried to get away, but it was too dark to run without tripping or something. So in their desperation, they felt, felt around until they felt something round and cold. Karen, still mostly frozen beneath the water plastic bags for the night. The cop The culprit. The culprit gripped, gripped the carrot and covered in bags and stabbed forward. Unfortunately, they just so happened to stab Becca directly in the heart. There was nothing the culprit could do to save her, so they panicked. First they turned the plastic bags inside out to contain the blood. Then they threw the carrot into the pot of still boiling water. They quickly made their way to the bedroom window, opened it, and threw the bags outside. Then they returned to the body and retrieved the knife, wiping it off them so, so, there were, so, so there wouldn't be fingerprints. After that, they retrieved the carrot, now softened, and quickly ate it. The carrot must have stirred, was stirred so, they, so, they went back, so they went back to where they were sitting. Because their eyes were adjusted to the dark and carried work, they were able to see what she was. They shoved the knife into our hands. I'm sure it was a split second decision they later regretted. Because when I talked to them, they told me they thought she was innocent. Maru got, <laughs> Maru got up and put the switch on to break her. It, that's when everyone saw what happened. Becca was lying on the dick dead on the floor, and Carrie was holding a bloody knife over her body. And the person who accidentally killed Becca to her that night was none other than you! Betty Nightingale! I... I didn't mean to kill her. The moment I found Carrie, I felt so horrible about it. But you saved her from my mistake, Mr. Wright. Thank you. As I said before, this was a clear case of justified self-defense. I wouldn't be surprised if the police chose not to press charges in, in Becca's death at all. Is it, so is there won't be any punishment? No. It is very unlikely that you will face any criminal charges for the death itself. You feared for your life. You had no intent to kill and her death was an accident. Miss Langill, I am sorry for what you went through. If there are any char charges, they will almost certainly be very light. Certainly nothing that would go on a permanent record or, or lead to prison time. Thank you. If I had known all of this, I would have confessed outright. I was so frightened that I would go to prison and be away from my family. They mean everything to me. I understand, Miss Nightingale. Ordinarily, we take the suspect into custody in these cases. However, due to the circumstances, you are free to go. You will be legally required to remain in the state of Maryland until you are officially cleared of any charges that, that may be pressed against you. According to my notes, you, notes, you have no prior criminal record, so you are not considered a considered a, a flight risk. The jury will now be called to deliver, deliberate the case against Miss Name Miss Sparrow. Ooh, I think we I think we saved it guys. After a remarkably short deliberation, the jury has reached their verdict. It is a unanimous dis unanimous. The court finds defendant Carrie Sparrow not guilty. Let's freaking go! Wow, this this was really good. October 17, 2 37 p.m. District Court Defendant's Lobby. Phoenix, you were incredible in there. I can't believe you were able to figure all that out. Half the time, I have no idea what was going on, but you were around right top of me the whole time. I was flying by the seat of my pants for a bit there. Go. You're going to suffocate me. I knew you could do it. I told you, Karen. 
We only have one more left. Oh? Oh, it's in the credit sequence again. Alright, um, I'll go ahead and skip ahead of the credit sequence. Oh, wait, no, it's different. Hold on. The ones who stuck with me through the years. Oh, oh there's Mr. Hadma left. 
and the ones who have recently come into my life. So, wait, this is from Phoenix's perspective, I just realized, because the last one was from Athena's. But love comes with a heavy cost. Yeah. Oh, Mia, no! Because sometimes love can make us hurt, hurt more than anything else. And if I hadn't known the pain that was coming, would I have done anything differently? Ooh! A Cyclock? Oh? Oh, that was the credits. Oh, gosh. So that was the end of Case 2. <sighs> wow. I was not expecting the credits to be different from Phoenix's point of view. That was That's actually a really nice little detail, and I like that. Phoenix Wright fan games. Like, I want to see more of these kinds of fan games. They're so cool. Oh! 
for a first case, that was really exciting. I was afraid this job might be boring, but if the trials are always like that... Actually, this job might be a little too exciting. Maybe I can decide over the civil case next time. Those don't go off the whole go all do they? Well, may maybe I don't want to be too bored. I guess I'll just have to wait and see. It was the first time that we've gotten some like self-defense in a Phoenix Wright game, even if it's a fan game, which I really appreciate. Oh? Francisca! Phoenix Wright may be defeated me again, but it's as I said before. I'm a patient woman. He'll choose the wrong client one day. And the moment he does, that's when I'll have my victory. Although, in the meantime, perhaps I'll get to face the lawyers he meant. See how capable they are against me. I will have my victory one way or another. Hmm. Keep dreaming, Francesca. Keep dreaming. Wait, hospital music. Paging Dr. Septicai? Oh my god. Wait, I didn't even realize the hospital music was paging Dr. Septicai. Oh, I need to play glitch in the system again. It was nice work on the case with Daddy, with Daddy and Maya. It was kind of like seeing what life was like before I came along. Except it's better now that I'm here too. Even so, I miss Polly. It, it's just not the same without here without him. But he's coming back really soon, so I gotta hold out for two more months. In the meantime, I want to do a case with Athena. I bet that would be great. I actually didn't expect Glitch in the System music to be in here. I, I didn't even pay attention to, to the song itself. <laughs> Wait, court music, Natsuki Ace Attorney? Wait, what? Natsuki? Like, DDLC? Damn, I seriously, I seriously need to look at the OST in this. I need to compare OST to some point. Oh, wait, is this? My is Glaze! Just two and a half more months before I'm officially mad. I hope Apollo gets my invitations. I want everyone to come to my christening ceremony. But don't worry, I won't leave Nick in the dust. Two years was way too long. Clavier was right. He's hopeless without me. So I'm going to, going to delegate his tasks here and keep working with Nick as long as I can. I mean, my mother was a master for 20 years without even being here. How hard could it be? Beautiful Care Bear, Carrie's theme song by Dan Barr. Aw, oh, that's, that's cool. That's adorable. That's probably the cutest OST name I've ever heard. Opening and closing music, Desperate Housewives OST. <laughs> uh, this, was, this was amazing. This is probably one of the coolest fan games I've ever played for a long time. Oh? It might have been a bit awkward to see everyone together like this. But Maya and her must fit right in with everyone as if they, they were here all along. Once Apollo is back, I, it'll be like world, worlds colliding. Maybe we can all do a case together. Well, no. I don't think there'd be room for all of us in the defense stand. <laughs> oh well. It was a nice thought, at, at least. And you're see Danarapa! Danarapa is one of the inspirations! I freaking knew it! Oh my gosh, dude. I I love Danganronpa. I actually have Danganronpa B3 on my Switch and and the uh, Danganronpa S. We love some help with art. If you think this project has potential, don't hesitate to reach out. Ultimately, if you do, just want to talk about this one, sir. Oh, this is awesome. I really like all of this. I think this, I think this game was only two cases. Far as far as I'm aware. But yeah, I'm really, really happy how this how this went. Wait, wait, do we have one more? Oh? Wait, do we, 
Oh, we have another scene. October 17th, 8.53 p.m. Right? Anything agency. Thanks for coming out here so fast. What happened? Oh, we got we got more Edgeworth lore. More behind the scenes at Edgeworth. We just stopped in for a minute. But we but we opened the door. <gasps> no! My boy! Oh no! All those were there. Maya, Trucy, Athena, Pearls. Maya, Trucy, and Pearl are downstairs now. They're really upset. I think we all are. The office door was locked. How did this happen? That's a good question. Anything, Emma? Nothing. No signs of a break-in. The lock has been tampered hasn't been tampered with. Either the killer had a key or is a genius at lock picking. No fingerprints? None. Not even Grossberg's. This is well. Bringing back bad memories. Oh no, Mia! No, cause, cause Mia worked under him, right? Oh gosh, this is horrible. I'm sure it is. This is how Mia they died, isn't it? Exactly how she died. There's there's even a statue. There must there must have been cousin made. I doubt it was it was Larry's work. Maya, I think we can handle this. Maybe you should go downstairs with the others. I want to say, this concerns me too. What's with the green line next to me? Looks like glow in the dark paint. Tell him, Miles. We can't keep it from him forever. Tell me what? Oh, I've never seen Phoenix look so serious. What am I looking at? A month ago, I, I too had an un. un Uninvited visitor in my office. He left this on my desk. Now, there were no signs of a break in. A letter? See for yourself. Is, is this a threat? Undoubtedly. Who's Hunter Kestrel? He's the heir to Kestrel Industries. The place Dr. F. Entis worked? Now you understand why I was so eager to take the case. But if you know who he is, why haven't you just caught him? That's the problem. Kestrels were always secretive. There is no one named Hunter Kestrel. At least not legally. His parents clearly worked hard to keep him out of the spotlight. No one knows who he is or what he looks like. Kestrels are suspected to be involved with a lot of illegal deals. Rumor has it they were working with Blue Card. Of course, that can't be good. I suppose they kept their air secrets so he would so he would be safe. And he is. Safe from justice at least. Justice? He was a serial killer known as the Line Man. Line Man? Is that why there's a glow glowing line next to the victim? Always a line, that's the name. We still don't don't know what it means, if anything. I don't think I've heard of this line man. Is he some sort of wanted criminal? They just said he's a serial killer, Maya. Probably the most wanted man in America right now. If, if not the world. This is a seriously sick person. A sick person with enough money to do anything he wants. Running Kestrel Industries from the shadows, hiring hit men to carry out some, some of the murders. He's always one step ahead of us. There's no way to find out his identity through legal means. He donates to people in top positions. He record his records are completely sealed. I think I've heard of him. At least I've heard the name. But I'm surprised. He is rather infamous. But the worst part is unknown to the general public. Part, he always picks a target for his killing spree. Not to kill, but to torment. As far as we, we can tell, he spies on his target for a while. Gets to know who they are, what they do, who they love. 
and he always goes after the people closest to them. Threatening them, sometimes attacking them. And someone always ends up dead. He's gone after two or two or other prosecutors so far. Prosecutor Williamson two years ago and Prosecutor Lice Lyons. Wait, now I remember. The Lion Man. That's the one who, that's who killed Piper Leones. Wasn't that his wife? Yeah, that's the one. But then... Oh. What? What are you talking about? I didn't tell you this thing. I didn't want to scare you. Tell me what? He couldn't handle what happened to me. So, about a year later, he... No! He was a good guy. Fair and honest. Always treated his detective really well. Hasn't been the same, same around the trip. Pretty same ever since. And what you said, so is that why he retired early. Yes, he was never the same after that. And now he's after Edgeworth? Psychologically, yes. But physically. But, what about Nick? We've been trying to figure out that too. The amount of research he does, you'd think we would know if they're friends. But, but he's not there, so, well, we were hoping he didn't. That's why we didn't taste like, We thought if we made it too obvious, well, you know. So that case last month at the wedding? Is that why you were so empathetic about not wanting to get married? It wasn't a lie. I don't. But I wanted to try and show, show that I wouldn't be a good target. It was also why I was so unpleasant with you, and why I called you an enemy. I, I suppose that that was a fool's errand in hindsight. No, it makes sense. I guess it did work. Nick, what if... Yeah, I don't think it's the same. What if I'm not invited? Because I'll be dead by the by then. I see. Yes, that is possible. You've already had security tailing you, but, but with that thought, I'm beefing it up. <coughs> I won't let it happen. That happens, Slick. Neither will I. Nor I. I can't just stop living my life until that's this sick of a size that I I'll make sure we get the we get the the best bodyguards we can for you. But until then, keep a low profile. He's already infiltrated your office. Like you're not, you're involved in this now. Still, Marvin Grossberg, he was me as mentor. He must be recreating my past cases, so if Grossberg makes the most sense of his replacement. That may be wise. That's a lot of cases. It's worth the effort. Because I have a feeling this is only the beginning. Oh, God. This is horrible, dude. Oh, not, not the game. The game is amazing. Oh, gosh. Well, anyways... That's gonna do it for Phoenix Wright Truth and Consequences. Man, this was this was an insane game, and the backstory and everything going on right now is crazy with Kestrel Laboratories and all that. I really wanna know who this line man is. Like I really wanna know what like who he is, what he's up to. Uh, I want and I wanna avenge Grossberg. Like he, Grossberg did not deserve to die there. But anywho. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think, share this video to your friends, and be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a single notification. I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye. You say you wanna try, but you never